How is everyone doing? Welcome back to another unboxing. Only possible thanks to Kavar Jewelers, the number one Seiko authorized dealer. Oops, that's not the one. I got a ton of boxes here. Sorry, guys. The Night Vision 8KX, the Alpinist, all the new sumos. So on the side of my desk here, it's a mess. Okay, so here's the right one. And the box is smaller. Guys, let me know down below. Do you like a small box or a big box? And of course, it wouldn't be a Seiko if it was not limited. <laughs> and there it is. The last time we saw a 62 MAS was in 2020, SLA 043. I got that right here as well. But this one has me curious. It's an all new case. And man, it feels high quality. There's something about the upper end Seikos. They got a different vibe. They got a different in the hand feel. They just ooze high quality. And this one is no different. Yeah, wow, look at the pattern on that dial. I know what they're calling it. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll give it a shot. Astrolabe, it's an ancient instrument for astrology, which has nothing to do with diving. So I don't understand the choice, but if you guys do, let me know. The haptics on the movement, phenomenal. Crown action, perfection. You know what this one reminds me of more than the 63 mass? The 61 mass. The one with the 6R15s. I call them 61. Same reasoning why I started to call it the 63. Because of the movement. And with this shiny bezel, that's the vibe I'm getting. Like a premium vibe of the reference SPB053, if I'm remembering correctly. <laughs> I'm going to look that up later. If I got it right, that's a miracle. Now here it is quickly next to the 63 MAS SPB297. I already did a full review on this one. So make sure to check that video out after this one if you are interested in the more affordable version. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on camera, but the polish is definitely different. The high polish. With the naked eye, I can just see it. They are of a different level in polish. Not to say that the 63 MAS is bad, but there's a special kind of clarity on this one. And now let's show it next to an icon, the 007. Man, the size looking, uh, 007 looking a little bit smaller here. <laughs> I need to grab my calipers and measure this. I am curious, but maybe we'll save that for the full video. I will be doing a full review on the SLA065 and Kavar Jewelers is trying to get the SLA067, the blacked out version with the tire tread dial. That thing looks killer. Seiko is only making 600 of those, so we might not be able to get one. The one we have today is 1300 units, so it's a lot more abundant. I'm gonna aim for the video to come out next week, hopefully. So while you wait, check out two high-end Seiko video reviews on the right of your screen right now. And I'll see you in the next one.